Good evening, everybody. Happy Tuesday. All right. Happy Tuesday. Hallelujah. All glory to God. So I wanted to stop by for just a second just to uplift, motivate, and encourage for a second. But this is what I want to highlight to you guys really quick here. There will be seasons in your life where you'll have to call out and cry out to God. There will be times in your life where it may feel like things are being completely shaken up. And you may be like, Lord, what is this? Father, what is this? But I want you to know that the season that you're in and the seasons that will you will approach sometimes and you're in that season of crushing and being pruned, know that God is bringing you out. You will be refined. You will be defined and you will be aligned. And sometimes children of God, we have to go through seasons and we have to be realigned so that we can divinely be in the places around the people and the things that God has called us to. Because what you don't want to do when you're in the process of being aligned and realigned and assigned to new things and new places, you want to make sure that you are in alignment. You want to make sure that you're not out of place because there is a Kairos time that God has for us. So you want to make sure that you are not out of place. So I wanted to take that, that moment, this moment for a second to highlight that. In the process of calling out to God, calling out to him and seeking his face, not seeking the approval of man, not seeking the suggestions of what everybody else thinks or what everybody else says they think you should do or how you should do it. But when you begin to call out on God and you be call out to God and you begin to allow him to navigate your life, you begin to see that things that was once a problem becomes starts to become a solution and things that needed a little bit of a fixing becomes a, uh, let me use this as an example you know if you have like a leak under your sink right and you can use a sealant i think i'm using the right terminology but if i'm not catching in the spirit all right and you can use sealant to begin to seal up the leak and under your ceiling uh, not ceiling lord help, help me jesus under your um your sink it's the same thing with the lord he, he's the one that comes in to seal the deal. He is the one that, oh, hallelujah. He is the one that comes in to seal right there where there's a leak at. So see, you, the thing is about serving God, you don't have to leak. You can stand on a firm foundation. But will you seek him in the good, the bad, the ugly? Will you seek him in all seasons, not just in the season seasons where you've been brought to your knees will you seek him when it's good will you seek him when you have the riches will you seek him when you have a penny will you seek him when you have everything that you've been praying for will you still seek him will you still get away with him when you can go out and do whatever it is that you choose to do will you remember to give god the glory and the honor and all of the praise and so i just wanted to highlight that for a moment because listen children of god if you have walked this walk long enough with God, you will go through seasons of crushing. And if you don't go through a season of crushing, crushing, you might want to ask yourself, what team are you on? What side of the fence are you on? Because when you walk with Christ and you do it authentically, when you walk with Christ and you're on fire for God, when you lay down your life and you truly are walking for him, you will come up against some oppositions. You will have to, hallelujah, you know how in PE when we were growing up and we used to play dodgeball. It, it's times that you're going to have to dodge some balls. It's times that you're going to have to dodge some hits. It's times that you even going to take some hits in the spirit. Hallelujah. But when you serve God, you will come out strong. When you serve God, you will come out as a warrior. So children of God, I leave you with this today. Will you call out to God? Will you call out to God? Will you cry out? Will you cry out to him? Will you go before him tonight or tomorrow? Whenever it is that you catch this video, will you cry out? Will you allow him to step into your life and intervene in every situation in your life? Will you allow him to be the GPS system in your life? Will you allow him to be the navigational system of your life? Or will you continue to try to control the things that God is saying, hey, I need you to give it to me today. Because if you can just give it to me, I can help you. If you can just give it to me, I can fix it. If you can just give it to me, I'll be here with you. But I need you to give it to me because it's been in your control for a long time. 
time and you've had the ball in your court and I'm ready to take the ball and slam dunk it. Hallelujah. And so children of God, are you willing to cry out and call out tonight? Are you willing to call out and cry out tonight? Spare not children of God. It's time for you to arise. It's time for you to be all that God has called you to be. But it's also a time, children of God, where we have to lay things down so that we can continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, so that we can continue to do what he's asked of us to do, so that we can continue to persevere, so that we can continue to soar, so that we can continue to roar, and so that you can be uh, um, realigned, so you can be redefined, so that you can be transformed, so that you can go through a rebirth. You want to go through a season of rebirth and of transformation of the plucking of things out that is not of God. You want to allow God to define you so that he can redefine anything in you that is not of him. So allow God to pluck up and pull out in this season so that you can persevere. I love y'all. Shalom, shalom. I see you guys again soon. I'll probably be back again with convos with Shanice. And stay tuned for our next soul winning Thursday. Love y'all. Shalom, shalom.